Hey YouTube, I'm Kenneth Ryan. And you're Aesop. And we are back with another exciting episode of Fan Fiction Friday. We are on the second to last chapter of Clockwork, uh, which I believe is 58 of 59. I don't want to uh, be yelling at this computer. My dad's cleaning the boxes <laughs> literally behind the wall. <laughs> Dude, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how triggering it gets. We'll see where we end up. Hopefully he finishes. Okay, um... So, oh my god, there is no dialogue for a while, so who who wants to read? I don't really care. Do you want to be me? Do you want it to be It's me? about gold. So sure that works? Okay. I'll continue reading that fan fiction. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you... I pay attention to this usually. Gold wandered aimlessly down the darkened beach, enjoying the pleasant warm summer breeze that drifted in. <laughs> pleasant warm summer breeze. The waves, cool in the evenings, lapped at his bare feet. Gold wondered if Morty would kill him for losing his flip-flops. He lost his flip-flops? Deciding Morty wouldn't give a fuck about them, okay. Gold, Gold continued to kick his feet through the sand without much further consideration on the matter. Then why were you thinking about it in the first place? Right. Gold found he really liked the beach. The smell, the feel. The sort of thing he associated with the beach was happiness. But then again, at the same time, the beach could be a soulful, mel melancholic resting place for the departed. What? What? Where? Like... Who can... Who, like... I associate... The beach <laughs> and the departed. I associate the beach with happiness. But and also dead people. Dead people. <laughs> Gold knew that much from bedtime stories when he was a child. Too many times he had listened, wide-eyed, to lovers parted, parting at sea on a beach. The one left behind, usually a woman, would wait until she wasted away on the shoreline. No. <laughs> what kind of stories What's, are you listening Right? To? I was like, normally the woman, in this sense, goes back to her life. Yeah. And waits for She's, the... She doesn't waste away <laughs> sitting on the beach. God, that's dumb. Maybe, maybe maybe like the Little Mermaid, like the original version where she refuses to kill him and she turns into sea foam. Right, but that's not this. <clears throat> yeah, that's not <laughs> wasting away while waiting. Right. Gold mm. wiped his nose on his shirt sleeve. There was something in the air on this island that he was allergic to. It was probably his hay fever reacting to all the wedding decorations strung everywhere. Mm. Sighing, Gold drew patterns in the damp sand. Wait, so he's sitting now? Yeah. He was kicking his feet in the sand. I thought thought he was walking or something. Maybe he's just sitting. He's just just, maybe he was just sitting the whole or time. Is he standing there drawing patterns uh, with his feet? Mate. <laughs> or is he using like a stick? I don't know. I don't know. They have all these descriptions, but then there's things the, where it's like you, they you, don't could, make you sense. could have described this. But and you, you didn't. chose not to. <laughs> There was something strangely calm about the night that Gold really loved. He felt like it was peaceful and quiet where nothing could disturb him when he needed to think like this. Mm -hmm. It was like a blanket of privacy more than anything, and Gold found that soothing to him. And his nerves and everything that he needed to try and understand about himself became easier to untangle in the comfort of summer. Comforting in the comforting summer, summer night. night of the beautiful Sinnoh Island Hotel. The setting was pure bliss, and Gold just allowed himself to enjoy... <laughs> just d allowed himself to enjoy himself for several heartbeats. Sitting down in the sand, now he's sitting. <laughs> Gold swept his fingers through the fine grains, liking the sal sa salty. <laughs> is what it's the salt, <laughs> but the saline, the saline scent, scent of the ocean the, and the it's salt. That's the sal smell of salt. <laughs> oh God, you're making me think of the the thing where it's like. They need to conversate more. I think the word you're looking for is converse. Just say talk. That's what I'm feeling right now. Um, and the rustle of the palm trees in the wind. He closed his eyes and took a deep breath. Already he felt much lighter. Sure, he had been feeling good lately and everything seemed to be back in back into some state of order in his life with Green hauling Red's ass from the mountain and all. But deep down... Gold had always known he would have to eventually come to terms with his repressed memories. Trauma wasn't an easy thing to get over. What memories has he repressed? The fire. But he's... No. I don't know. <laughs> like, he remembers everything, yeah, doesn't I, he? I don't know. I don't know what he doesn't remember. For some, it could take a whole lifetime. 
Gold knew he could make it. He would make it. But first, he needed to love himself and what he did and accept it. Okay. Are we going to flashback to him shooting Silver because Silver was going to shoot himself? Because we've already been over that and you're already fine with it. Did he repress it. any of those memories of the tournament? I don't know. I don't know. It's been like three years. <laughs> which I know is... <laughs> In terms of trauma, probably nothing. But, like, it's been, like, three years. Like, yeah, you're functioning. Yeah, he's been fine, mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. He's he, dealt with his trauma. Right, right. He's He seems like he's dealing, which is great. But now it's like, oh, nope, I haven't started at all. Right? Well, let's get started uh, God, on this it's two annoying. years later, whatever. Right? It, it's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. He gazed about the silvery moonlit beach quietly, listening to the waves and the crickets chirping off oh, it's in the dark foliage. Yeah, they established that two paragraphs when ago. Did they say that? Near the uh, I can honestly find it. Something strangely calm about the night. Oh. Yeah, so. They're just restating that it's nighttime. But it, because you weren't paying attention, because there's so many descriptors, it is nighttime. They're reminding you. Listening to the waves and the crickets chirping, chirping off in the dark foliage near the wooden dock that ran on the top of the sand at the hem of the beach. <laughs> so beach strollers during the day could take the less sandy path if the they chose. The wooden dock that ran on the top of the sand at the hem of the beach. <laughs> there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. She swallowed the fl cat to, to eat the whatever, the, to eat the spider, that to eat the fly that... Wriggled in something Sorry. inside. Her. Yeah, yeah. In the end, she dies, right? Yeah, perhaps she'll die. <laughs> she does. It was so peaceful. <laughs> Scratching his nose vaguely, he wedged his feet Vague. deeper into the sand as he thought. The moon was three quarters full and the tides were coming in. Gold didn't mind getting wet, though, as the waves lapped at his toes. Taking in a deep breath, Gold attempted to make a coherency of his mind. <laughs> okay. He needed to sort it all out first before he could even begin to meditate on his issues and traumas. One section of his mind was screaming at him that he was stressed and he couldn't take it anymore. You are on vacation. <laughs> yeah. You're having a bunch of sex all the time. You're like, you You're got happy. really drunk recently. Yeah. Like, what What about any of this what is you stressful? Green and red are back. They're paying your bills again. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> your job is fine. <laughs> right? You're they... happy with your job because it's yellow and she likes you and you can get away with not showing up <laughs> on time. Nice. Because you were having sex. Yeah. yeah, like, I think you're fine. Another section of his mind, the more rational side, was calling okay. out to him that it was high time that he stopped behaving like a child and became a man. Bless up. Did you already up. say this, though, that you are a man and you do understand consequences and blah, blah, blah? But that side <laughs> of your mind is right. You are behaving yeah. like a child most yeah, yeah. of the time. Yeah. That he had to grow up, not tomorrow, but now. Gold paused as the waves lapped round his heels now, the tide creeping quietly up the beach. The eagle-eyed male cracked his knuckles deep in thought. Growing up... Usually it's hawk. They've used yeah, eagle, eagle like once eagle's before. Eagle's weird. They've used eagle like once before, I remember, I think. You know... I think I commented on it then, too. <laughs> so, so because I celebrated a birthday recently, there is like a plethora of alcohol in my house. We definitely could have done a drinking game had we been at my house. I've got the <laughs> that shocker, the, I mean, the pucker in my car oh, we're fine we're fine <laughs> yeah we're both 21 now <laughs> it was we, it was fun it's what it was um on this show it'll be fun uh, yeah that had always been his problem immature and arrogant gold had to admit he knew he had been insufferable at times and wondered yeah. how the hell green had coped he didn't he owed the psychologist a big apology in fact yes i almost said a big fat apology <laughs> which would have been the same thing he had been a stupid child, yeah, that, yes. ignorant and angry, uh -huh. and Gold laughed at his past self, somewhat revolted that he had such a violent and unruly and rather ugly personality. Well, you were dealing with trauma back then, too. Gold rubbed his wrists, and then swiftly looked Although, down as he repeated the action, this time round with much more care and precision, precision. feeling the strong cords and veins in his hands. His strong hands. His wrists were smooth and unmarked. Oh yeah, he's strong. And so silvers were mapped net were a mapped network of awful slashes. Really drinking to his scars, too? His yes, scars. and yeah. his femininity. And 
weakness. Uh, Gold shuddered and swallowed the fear in his chest, the kind of fear he knew was irrational, as he recalled Silver bleeding everywhere, and all he could think of was just stopping it, mm. just grabbing the nearest medical kit and stopping the redhead from bleeding. When he shot him? I or don't, I his, don't his, remember. I don't think he's ever... Well, did Silver cut himself that one time in this room and then Gold came in? Are you, if you're thinking, like, chapter seven, I think <laughs> yeah. so. I think that did happen, actually. And then he, like, ran on the roof or something, or was the roof before that? I don't remember. Did he walk in on him after he cut himself randomly? I don't remember. <laughs> I think so. I honestly, I, I don't. I was like, I don't think he ever saw him after he, like, cut yeah, himself. Yeah, right. And I'm like, I, well, I, I don't maybe know. He, he might have that one time, that I, one I, chapter, I, I, that I, one day. <laughs> Over a year ago, it yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. In terms of our lives, and over like three years ago in terms of the story. True. Blood and silver had never been a good combination for him. Okay. Gold had known that, that from the very moment he had met the mercury-eyed male. It just uh, looked awful. Scary. Sad. Does bleeding ever suit anyone? Do you think that, oh, hey, I'd be fine seeing this person bleeding in front of me. I guess if, like, you really hated them and, exactly. like, had, like, a mental, <laughs> like, thing, I, I don't know. You tell me. Yes. Because but back why would then, you think that? <laughs> the first time you see someone, oh, you'd look terrible bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that. I mean, as someone who gets nauseous from blood, everyone looks bad bleeding. Well, yeah, so. but you don't think that the first time <laughs> right, you see someone. Right, right. Like, oh, I would hate to see you bleeding. Right. No, you're right. <laughs> Unless they are bleeding. <laughs> so I keep it. Right. You're... <laughs> I'm just, I'm agreeing, but I yeah. don't have anything to add to it. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just ready to keep yeah, reading because this is a chapter that's uh -huh. probably long. Because back then, it suited him. What? The Scarlet had suited silver so frightening well so frighteningly well combination if gold him. <laughs> never wanted to see it again ever what why he though why he though it suited him was because of the contrast someone so painfully hurting with themselves physically letting that pain flow through cutting it made sense no <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> this is a flashback by the way to 50 chapters ago i think I, I know people do it, and it does sometimes make them feel better for a little while, at least. But, oh, yeah, somehow this person who's so, like, emotionally scarred, physically hurting themselves, let out that pain, it's somehow, it makes sense. It's like, no. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the reaction image of the, like, me. If I killed myself, I wouldn't have to deal with the stresses of life or school anymore. <laughs> I would be perfectly stress-free. My therapist... <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> you're not like wrong but like but don't no. <laughs> like that's a bad idea <laughs> basically that's what I'm thinking right now <laughs> Gold knew that was that was his morbid, morbid romantic side speaking what? for him I'm kink shaming Yeah. and quickly pushed it aside that was irrelevant now this whole thing has been irrelevant up to this point. The last seven chapters have been irrelevant. <laughs> the last, like, 20. True. The last 57 Ugh. and a half. <laughs> the whole fic. Uh, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, fan fiction, can, you could argue, is pretty irrelevant. Except for My Immortal, because that's the most famous one I've ever heard of. I, I like fan fiction. This well, fan oh, fiction no, I, I do too, but, like, this one's not, like... We get annoyed by it, <laughs> yeah, but it's, we do. it's a decent fix, though. So. Silver had given the awful, waivers. given up the awful hobby, and Gold was glad. In fact, when he had first seen Silver standing so uncaringly, so ignorantly and coldly in Green's office, Gold had seen his bandages and his pain. Gold had hated him instantly because of how pathetic he looked. Why do you look that pathetic? That he could be pushed over without being touched at all. You know he still looks like that, right? He... He got more pathetic as yeah, this fic has it, gone on. During, back then he was angry and stuff. He wasn't pathetic. The he pathetic thing happened after he started dating you. Yeah, he was... <laughs> back then he was—he had pride. <laughs> he was proud of himself. He let that all that, go he, for a boy. Not, what a mistake. He wasn't pathetic. Sure, he cut himself <laughs> and whatever, and he was in pain and blah, blah, blah. I just... And he had, his pain came out in anger and all that. But that's not pathetic. <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's not. It's not pathetic. 
he was better back then. <laughs> you changed him for the worst gold. Um, it's for good, but the opposite. <laughs> because I wicked, knew you. Dragging wicked into this. I have been changed for bad. <laughs> Green had made them apologize and share a room. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I'm so sorry. Gold had hated Silver so much because, so much back then, because Silver's total hatred and stubbornness to see the world was pretty awful. But okay. when Green had made them apologize and share a room, a goddamn bed, Gold felt like that made me think of a Gale lion. <laughs> You go up there to your goddamn bed. That's not the voice. Gold felt like it was the end of the world. Like he couldn't survive something like that. But... Little by little, Gold came to see Silver differently. Naturally, because of Green's expert care, he too changed. But Silver was most noticeable in his development. Gold held up a handful of sand, watching as the soft golden grains trickled between, slipping how, through his fingers. How could he like, see them? Why are they describing them as soft and golden when it's nighttime? They'd look like black. They'd look black and gray. Pretty like, <laughs> colorless. Oh, I know they're golden, so they're soft golden. But you're looking at them under moonlight. <laughs> right. They look silvery, if anything. I don't know. Right. Oh, jeepers. Silvery. <laughs> ah! Silver <Bird. laughs> Silver had changed so much, and the loudest part of his brain was all about silver. Mm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. As stupid as yes. it sounded, yes. Gold couldn't help it. No. His thoughts were consumed by the beautiful no. redhead, and Gold had irrational fears beautiful. considering him. <laughs> He kept replaying that terrifying moment in which Silver had shot him, and nearly shooting himself at the same time. That's not the right tense of that verb. <laughs> when he had shot Silver, turning such a dangerous weapon on his lover had been the hardest decision of his life, and Gold knew he was glad he did it, but he still regretted it, though. The idea that he did it to save them both from spiraling down into insanity and rage still didn't he take did away the him act of him killing actually himself. turning a gun onto Silver and shooting him. Why did you just punch him in the face or something? I'm so <laughs> over him being mad at himself for shooting it's been Silver. Like two years. You, like, literally within a week, you were like, I did it to save yourself because you were going to kill yourself. But two years later, you're like, oh man, I shot him. Like,. I shouldn't have done... Like, I'm a bad person. Like, no! I'm so guilty because You've I shot him. already, two years ago, in the reference to the fic, gone over it and been like, yeah, I shot him. But it was good because he's still alive. Yeah. Don't, like, stop it! Stop going back to things you're already over and making them problems again. <laughs> yeah. It's annoying to read about because we've already been over this. This already had a conclusion. Yeah. And now you're like, ah, we're retconning that. It's not actually concluded here. I mean, sure, it'd still bother you, but not to the same degree. Yeah, not as to a, like as, as, as if you haven't dealt with it. At right, all. right, and that's my problem. It's like it's never been dealt with, and like in terms of a story, once you reach a conclusion, you don't really need to keep bringing things up, unless you like have a twist to it. But there is no twist. No. The twist, I guess, is that the conclusion never happened. <laughs> yeah. But it's just annoying because we had one mm -hmm. like twenty chapters ago. Yeah. Oh, God, where am I? I think it was something gold. He still regretted it, though. The idea that he did it to save them both from spiraling down into insanity and rage still didn't take away the act of actually turning on a gun onto Silver and shooting him. It was something Gold still felt tremendously about. Mm -hmm. He had killed people back then. Yeah. Gold knew he had had no choice but to fight, but that didn't stop him from having a conscience. Okay. Those people, no matter how corrupt, some of them probably had fa had, had families. Had had. Children... People who loved them, too. Your families were also probably in Team Rocket. It was selfish to think that because they were fighting for the wrong cause, the bad one, that they weren't loved and it was okay to kill them. First of all, right and wrong are objective. In the grand scheme so of things... Subjective? Sub are, oh yeah, are, they're not objective, they are subjective. <laughs> yeah. What we consider wrong, people consider right. Mm. Let's take... The Holocaust, for example. <laughs> well, that's a really strange... A majority of the world yeah. believes that what happened was wrong. Well, yeah. But at the time it was happening, there were sincerely people who were perpetuating it who believed they were doing the right thing. Mm. And that's because morality is subjective. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can look back on it and say this was terrible. Like, I sincerely think it's one of the most horrific things that has happened in the history of the world. But at the time that it was happening, there were 
people running those camps who were like, we are doing this for the better of the world. We are mm-hmm. doing the right thing. Yeah. So you can say they were fighting for the wrong cause, I guess, but that's only from your perspective, Gold. Mm-hmm. Because in their mind, fighting with Team Rocket is the right thing for them to be doing, maybe... Unless they're, like, weird slave things like Red was. Yeah, and quite so a few I guess of them were, like, 30% or something, wasn't it? I don't know. Okay, like, so I, I guess it kind of depends. But, like, people like Agatha n- thought they were doing the right thing. She was a bitch, but she did think it was... But she was yeah. doing it because she's like, if I... She agreed with what was Right, right. Their but goal. That was my point. Yeah. No. No. Gold knew that several men he had killed on that day of pure horror... Yeah. He knew they must have had fam... Okay, I just got confused. He knew they must have had friends or family or lovers who cared about them. You just said this. Literally just said this. Gold rubbed his face as he realized this and quickly envisioned himself in that that scenario. He's realizing this now, but you were just thinking about it five seconds ago. If Silver died... God, I hate you. I know this thing. I know they had families and stuff. I know they had families and stuff. Oh, I, re- I just realized they have families and stuff. <laughs> it's like, what? what if Silver had died? Yeah. If he had died. Gold whilst de- despising, loathing Team Rocket forever for what they had done to the world and to him and to Silver and to everybody he had ever known and loved to the ends of the earth. What? He could hate the grunts. Whilst despising, loathing to the ends of the earth. <laughs> loathed them to, to the ends of the earth, maybe, but... I don't know. Loathing. <laughs> Sometimes the tenses they use for phrases... He could... Could... Good... Could... could uh, he could hate the grunts. It was like how Silver had confessed to him that he hadn't killed a single man until Proton threatened to kill Gold. Him. Only then had the redhead broken and killed. And then killed, like, 20 other people. <laughs> Didn't he kill Agatha? No, Agatha killed herself. No, someone stabbed Agatha with a poison. That was somebody. Was it? I was think it was oak or something. Was oh, green? I don't. Even green. I don't Red, remember. Green? I don't know. Silver had love. Even gold. <sighs> someone stabbed Agatha with the poison she was trying to use on them. I think it was gold. Oh, maybe. Silver had love-hate ideals. Whilst he didn't blame the grunts, he frowned upon them for making that wrong decision. Okay. Get off your moral high horse. I mean, you're right. In the grand scheme of things, they're doing things that majoritively are seen as evil. But Mm -hmm. get off your high horse. Mostly because of the way it's worded. He frowned upon them. He frowned upon them for making that wrong decision. Like, it just seems so haughty. Yeah. Uh, Because whilst they were part of Team Rocket, they were carrying... I think they used whilst correctly, like, 90% of the time. I don't think so. That's probably why it's annoying. Because I'm saying it knowing it's wrong, but like not knowing how to properly use Welst, because who freaking uses Welst anymore? I don't know. Because whilst they were part of Team Rocket, they were carrying out orders. Some who truly wanted towards the evil, selfish cause, and others who merely made the wrong choice. It was just so difficult to reconcile killing with those people. One side of him said they all deserved it, and the other said no, they didn't because they could have been they could have served a sentence in jail instead. Clean. They would have died in the explosion anyways. They blew up the stadium with right. everyone inside it. Right. Killing them hadn't been the right way. But it was self defense. It was either kill or be killed. I thought it said kill or be killing. <laughs> it was either kill or be killed. In fact, disabling them had been cruel too. But what else could he do? What other choice did he have? It's been two years! Or something like that. I don't remember how my aunt's been. <laughs> Gold looked up momentarily distracted as he heard footsteps. Another set of bare feet padding up to behind him. Gold smiled briefly at Morty, who waved slightly in hello, before sitting down heavily next to the raven in the sand, before drawing his knees up to his chest with a hiss as the high tide lapped cool and refreshing at his feet. Shouldn't the, the tide be around gold already? Because eh, the tide is looking at his toes or whatever, and then it's up to his ankles, and that's when, like, 30 more paragraphs. Shouldn't it be, like, 30 feet behind him? Maybe. Hey, Gold muttered, not feeling particularly conversational as of the moment, too <laughs> troubled to consider having a friendly chat with the crippled gymnast. Morty rested his blonde head on his folded arms and gave Gold a serious once-over, his violet eyes critical and searching. You look like you've seen a ghost, Morty commented, darkly. And Gold stared at him. Morty shrugged. Beaches, ghosts, you never know. 
What? Just an expression. Uh, what's up? You left really suddenly. I wanted to make sure you were okay. That and Faulkner is too fucking fast. I never knew he could run that fast. Maybe I'm just getting old, so I couldn't catch him. Wasn't it his leg? Uh, anyway. Or was it his arm? Yeah. It was his arm, yeah. Gold's own acid leg. Yeah, and which, <laughs> what happened to acid leg, am I right? Apparently it was just a skin wound, I guess. It's just a flesh wound. Even though they uh, never... Uh, like... Anyway. Okay, but like, <laughs> you get hydrochloric acid on you, that's gonna eat uh, nerves. Was it hydrochloric? It, was some, it, it was, was some sort of acid. I think it might have been sulfuric, which is even worse. Yes, they said it was some sort of acid, and they put that on there, and it was like... It was a couple hours, at least, before anything would was put on it to, like, what's the word? Cancel it out. Um, base. You use a base. Yeah, yeah I know you use a base, but, but what's the word? Oh, I don't know, and I was in a chemistry class this last Neutralize. Yeah, Neutralize that's the word. The, the acid. Nothing was put on it for, like, a long time, so it would just continue eating away at it. Right. He would have been, like, permanently They didn't forever. mention him, like, wiping it off after he got untapped. Untied or right, anything. but why would he wipe it off with? Know, He's gonna get acid on that. Something. But then there's acid on the cloth, which will start eating up the cloth hypothetically. As as, well, you don't keep the cloth on you. You just I know, throw but it away. like I d- wipe it on Agatha. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, a- anyway, uh, what's up? Gold nodded, and Morty prodded some more. Gold sighed, knowing his friend wouldn't stop bugging him until he spilt all the beans. <laughs> you know how you passed. You know how you passed out during Team Rocket's attack. Yep, it was excellent. Morty, seriously. I was totally away with the fairies and we had fucking tea parties and shit. What is with Morty's character? You should have seen the rainbows. What is with Morty's character? (laughs) He's fucking wild. That's he's just a wild card. He's Charlie Day, is what he is. Have you ever seen Always Sunny? He talks like he's Charlie Day. (laughs) Are you gonna tell me these shorts are white trash? Or the fucking scene where he's drawing with Tums, and he's like, when I get an upset stomach, I eat chalk. Tums is good to draw with. Like, I feel like that's Morty. Yeah, probably. Dude, Morty. But no. I was left and identified as dead. Not very fun. This is not the Rick voice. They thought he was dead? This is not the Rick voice. Ah, jeez, Rick. I could still hear everything, you know? I wonder what being dead really feels like. I bet it's all floaty. Like, someone shoved you into zero gravity. Yeah. So they thought the like the people who were searching and stuff thought he was dead? Apparently. I guess. This is the first time we've heard this at all. He didn't let me interrupt, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, okay, continue. You can say Morty! Again. <laughs> That's fine. Gold was surprised at the strength, the sheer magnitude of his own voice. Oh, even his voice is strong. Gold, you hunk you. Morty blinked slowly and lifted his head from his arms with a small sniff as he regarded the hawk-eyed male with mild surprise. Rubbing the back of his neck, Morty sighed. What? I'm trying to lighten the mood here. You're acting like you're going to tell me you nearly killed Silver. Morty, I did. I I could have killed Silver for fuck's sake. I shot him. Morty didn't know this. (laughs) It has been. Two years. Why would Morty make that kind of joke? You act like you're about to tell me you almost killed Silver. Morty, I did. <laughs> for the drama of it all. <laughs> He's saying it for the drama. He knows. Wouldn't Morty have known this? Probably. They probably have talked about it in between their talking about fucking. Yeah, you just had your giant group therapy session. Oh my god. It's, it's probably happened. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, and I can cut this if you don't want it on the video. Uh-huh. I looked over at your box of tampons and was like, why do you have mac and cheese in here and why <laughs> am we not eating it? It does kind of look like the instructions like, on the it, side. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a box of mac and cheese. I was like, shit, we yeah, should make you that. Don't have to cut it. I don't care. <laughs> I have tampons. Wow. Wow, I know. Women need tampons. Amazing. I almost It does. <laughs> the side of it does look okay. like the coloring so of I'm, a mac and cheese box. I'm yeah. not like that dumb. Uh, Great. Your, your Taco Bell soda is still in my <laughs> And it's from like months ago. It's been a long time. Morty was silent, <laughs> stunned that, that his prior joking and rather sarcastic statement was actually true. Yeah. Gold was glad the blonde was that... He had rendered him speechless. Morty opened his mouth and then closed it. And the closed it. His amethyst pearl eyes... Purple purple eyes swimming with unreadable emotions. Finally, Morty spoke, his voice quiet and laced tightly as he questioned the highly sensitized gold gently. What made you think of that? 
It's been on my mind since the day it happened. What if I aimed wrong? wrong. This is so needlessly dramatic. <laughs> what if I aimed wrong? I have to point out there's an ellipsis, so technically, yeah, the way you're saying it is right. Because you're supposed to pause for thought. I mean, you, you did, didn't you? Yeah. No, I paused like for a, a half second. Gold responded softly, looking out at the shimmering waves, each lined individually with their hems of silver moonlight. I think hems is the word they discovered before they started typing this chapter. They said the hem of the beach. And the yeah, hems right. That's why I'm, I'm thinking they, as they learn new words, they just incorporate them as frequently as they can into this fic. The ripples of the water making the whole scene serene and relaxing <laughs> despite <Scene> serene. The, <laughs> despite the topic concerned, Gold was afraid. <laughs> okay. He was afraid of discussing this topic so much because it spoke so much about him as a person. Okay. Morty, however, didn't seem to think so. Blunt as ever and down to earth as usual and cocked his head to one side. Whilst Morty was a spiritual man, he didn't dwell He's on the ghost. He's a spiritual ghosts. man? <laughs> what? Since when is that a thing? When has that ever been a thing? Oh my god, this is the most amazing thing. <laughs> we are one chapter away from the end, and just like all this new shit is coming up. Not really, this is the newest yeah, thing. This is one chapter from the end of what? No. Honestly, how are they planning how does, this? How does this fic end? I'm so. I'm. It's gonna be anticlimactic, or it's gonna be the most dramatic thing we've ever read in our lives. Abracadabra! I shoot it. <laughs> Nothing will top that. Clip Nothing will ever come up as better than abracadabra. I shoot it. Oh my the god. The entire paragraph before that too is is a gift. My immortal is a gift. <laughs> If you haven't seen it, please watch our read-through. It is the most amazing thing we've ever done, I think, in our lives. In my life, at least. I can't speak for you. He didn't dwell on the ghosts that could have been. He respected and acknowledged the existing ghosts. But then again, he had never had childhood traumas. Perhaps it was different when you added that sort of equation into the mix. Why? Because he would have shot himself. D okay. <laughs> We've been over this! Morty doesn't know this, though. So we have to tell it again for the fifth time. I understand that the character of Morty doesn't know. Yes. But we know. And because this does not have to be based entirely in reality, because yeah. it's a work of fiction, you don't need to unless need to have bringing this up to Morty progresses the plot forward... But no, this is just Morty helping Gold with his therapy now. Because Morty is a therapist. But is this progressing the plot forward? Not no. really. No. Do we have a plot, even? No, not really. <laughs> There's a wedding. Are they going to get married? At the <laughs> oh, my God. Is, is Gold going to propose to Silver? I'm going to... Is that... <laughs> I was... I will be... I will scream <laughs> at the top of my lungs. I won't, because it's 12 in the morning, and people are probably going to sleep, but I will shout... <laughs> loudly into a pillow That'll into work. something if gold proposes to silver by the end of this gold muttered and morty nodded slowly digesting like this it. information this fic likes to pull weird 180s that don't make sense true they're more they're more like 270s true. <laughs> he then reached over and smacked gold gently on the back of the head Gold rubbed the affected area and sent Morty a god, look. I'm just thinking of, like, blood, sweat, and tears while they're going into the museum. <laughs> oh my god, I like... Uh, my favorite part about the blood, sweat, and tears choreography is, like, where they, they do the thing to, like, tag and try to, like, reach his throat. Oh, uh, it's so cool. Morty stared back just as strongly, his amethyst gaze searching. Mm -hmm. This entire time... Dude, is snap out of it! Yourself, by That's the way. Right. <laughs> I, you, you can read all of the dialogue the next chapter then. That's the past. You yeah, aimed as you wanted to aim, and so Silver's okay. Just Morty, aiming for it's not as simple hit. as that's the past. I did things that I can never potentially justify. You already justified it. You were going to save his life, so you shot him in the shoulder, or whatever. That's justifying it. <laughs> I hate this so much. It doesn't really need to be justified past that. Right? I... Mm, it's like, it. oh, I shot him to save his life. Right, you That's did. That's all the justification it needs. You did the right thing. Yeah, unless you wanted to let you him did shoot the himself right in thing. the face. Unless you wanted a main character of the story to kill himself, you did the right thing. 
I shouldn't clap this close to the mic. I mean, you're all uh, clapping loudly, so it's probably fine, maybe. Morty cut over the team roughly. This is oh, long. God, long the Morty time. boys. <laughs> no, bro, shut the fuck up for one second. You see me, right? I may not have killed anyone, but Faulkner did. That sensitive boy cried and didn't eat for months and months because of how psychologically wounded and fractured he was. I was so worried, scared for him, that I was going to lose Faulkner, not because of the war, but because I wasn't strong enough to tell him that he did it because he had to. Because if he didn't, we both would be dead. Why weren't you strong enough to tell him that? I don't easy know. It's such an easy thing to say. Hey, you did it because you had to. That's not, like, it, uh, a difficult thing to say. I, you're right. You're right. It's like, oh, you're y- right. the, uh, it was like, yeah, the opposite, saying, like, you didn't really have to do this. Mm-hmm. So, or if it's like a guilt thing, but it's like, this is making him feel better. Mm-hmm. Why would that be difficult to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if it weren't for him, I would be dead. He c- still carried my body out of there, regardless of if I was alive or not. But Faulkner saw I lived, and he tried his best so fucking hard. How my can, sweetheart. How can Faulkner carry Morty? To, Morty's like the stronger man one of the two. <laughs> to become who he used to be. He's not perfect and never will be, but... He is at ease, finally, with his deeds. What I'm trying to tell you, Gold, is that you killed people, and you nearly killed Silver. Can you live with that? What? (laughs) Can you live with that? Can you live with that? That's literally what he's having a problem with. Next line. (laughs) That's the problem. Morty interrupted him again. Annoyed, Gold glared at him, but Morty held up a hand for silence for just one more moment. Please, please. (laughs) That is the problem. Tell me, Gold, is there anything you like about yourself? Anything at all? What is going on? <laughs> this is the 270 of the chapter. <laughs> oh my god. Gold honestly thought about the question, amazed that he found nothing. <laughs> Normally he would smirk and declare everything about him was perfect, but... Somehow that had changed, and Gold shook his head slowly. Of course he didn't hate himself or anything, he just didn't like the underdeveloped human being he saw in the mirror. Who thinks like that? He knew Green and Silver thought highly of him, and how far he had come and changed. Red doesn't matter. (laughs) But personally, Gold never truly saw that transformation very relevant. That was just a reality check. The issue here now was who he was willing to become. What? You can either stand up and move on because you know it was against your morals and your own personal philosophies, or you can deny everything, yourself, Silver, and everyone around you by deluding yourself that what you did was wrong. Do you think killing those people was wrong? Yes. Good. (laughs) Morty said with much vindication. What is going on? And Gold nodded before doing a double take and staring at Morty, who grinned. Grinned. Now I have your attention, dumbass. I said good because yet. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, that's right. Yeah, that I said good because yes, it was wrong. Are you okay with it? No. Morty smacked him. Gold hissed, and Morty jerked his head at Gold irritably. Wrong answer, Gold. Oh, what the fuck is this even about? Yeah, what is Hey, this guess what? Title of the ep- episode. What the fuck is this even about? We'll cut the fuck part because it's YouTube, but... Of course I'm not okay with killing people. Morty shook his head before flicking gold on the forehead and sitting back on his haunches. I think you're missing the basic point here. Okay, I'll start off easy. Gold, what is the single quality in silver you love the most? And before you say something obvious like his personality, I want you to think about it. Deeply. Go. (laughs) What the fuck is this even about? I don't know. Gold frowned lightly at the blonde before turning away to do as he was told. Mm -hmm. Hey. hey. (laughs) I wonder if the camera can see me. Probably. You're good. (laughs) (laughs) She's given up. Uh, The things he loved about Silver... Well, that was pretty much everything. Right down to the weird crooked toe the redhead had on his right foot. (laughs) What? He has a weird crooked toe. Glad we found that out one chapter to the finale. 
Personality-wise, Silver was gentle, sweet, and caring, and whilst he had a hot temper, Silver barely reverted to true anger. Silver was funny and so cute when he tried so hard to draw but failed. Silver could sing, but he preferred not to. He was so shy. The endearing thing was he was so bashful and humble about anything he did right. But the longer the pon but the longer the pondered upon his gorgeous lover, Gold came to the conclusion that the single quality he loved in Silver was Silver. Gold looked up at Morty, who was staring placidly up at the moon. Done? Yeah. Care to tell me? Gold shook his head and gave Morty a smile. Morty was stricken by the smile Gold threw at him. It was vulnerable, loving, tender, gentle, calm, and accepting, as well as the fact that it was a goddamn gorgeous smile. Gold looked incredibly handsome. Okay. If only Silver could have witnessed it. I'm sure Silver's seen it. Morty raised his eyebrows and laughed. You sly dog, I get it now. What? Morty knew Gold had smiled on purpose because all he ever needed to say about Silver and the single quality he loved the most about the Mercury Eye male was all in his smile. That had to be the most powerful response he had gotten yet out of the hawk-eyed teen. Punching Gold good-naturedly on the shoulder, Morty eyed him <coughs> up from the corners of his vision. I'm so sick of long paragraphs in this voice. Oh my god. Do you want to start reading the non-dialogue? <laughs> I could, sure. Or do you want me to just keep going with I'm, this chapter and you can provide the... the okay, alright. Because I don't know if you want to keep just being the, the side comments for this or if you want to have something to say. Cause <laughs> I don't really I, care. You, Either way. But if you don't want to read as much as you can. No, I don't mind reading the whole thing. I just don't, don't want to know if you want to be more involved. I'm fine if you don't want... If it's... <sighs> The way we've done Moving it. on, <laughs> thought experiment time. Imagine the entire population of our world is under threat from being obliterated by nuclear warfare. This is not the same voice at the beginning, but it is so hard to keep it. You are the only one who makes the decision to whether we all die or not. You are held at gunpoint. Either you kill your best friend's a helpless, severely handicapped child, or you take... If you do. If you do, you then save everyone's highs and potentially would suffer hell from your best friend for the rest of your life. If you choose not to, then we all die. What do you do and why? It has to be a good reason. If it isn't, I'll kick you. Morty threatened, and Gold heaved a big sigh at this and as he weighed up the options of the thought experiment. Who calls it that? It really was a no-brainer. Brainer. I'd kill the child. So, he's having so much trouble with this, like, oh, I killed people, and and it's so bad. If the world, if someone was threatening you and if you killed the child, it would be fine if you didn't. I'd kill this handicapped child. No hesitation. It's a no-brainer. I'd kill the kid. Why not? My best friend's child. Oh my god. <laughs> but he's having so much trouble with it. And, and why would you do that? Because I'd end up saving the world. I think that because of the number of lives at stake, just one life to save billions is... You just can't argue with that ratio. Morty sat back looking satisfied. Gold was conf confused. Yes, all my. Do we have to do another fucking analogy? Like, yep. I've already got yep. it. Yep. Ah! Ah! ah. Cool. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. What is it? Yeah, it's the side button. buttons will go forward and backward <laughs> on pages. Fun fact. There! Right there! Morty poked gold in the chest. Now apply that to your situation. Meow. You okay, buddy? They probably are out of food or something. Gotta take a poop? <laughs> They're probably just out of food. They're being obnoxious is what they are. Gold was still confused and Morty rolled his eyes. Oh, God. Okay. Fine, because you're a retard, I'll do another. Uh, Thought experiment number two. Forget the saving the world idea, but remember your answer. There's a horribly sick child who will die soon, but the doctors are doing everything they can to keep him alive and help him recover. But next door, there's a child in need of a heart transplant, and that sick child has the perfect match that they need. The dilemma is the sick child has a couple months to go before he finally passes away. The boy who needs a heart will die within the next 24 hours if he doesn't get the heart he needs. What do you do? What would you do? What would Jesus do, Morty? Does Jesus exist in this? What would Arceus do? <laughs> Morty looked at Gold seriously, who gazed at the blonde, mute with surprise and mild disturbance at the idea. Morty motioned for him to say something. Gold blinked rapidly and chewed the new, equip new experiment. experiment over in his mind. 
I... I cannot answer that. Cannot. Morty no rolled his eyes. You have to... Who talks like this? You have too much of a guilt train. You have a guilt train. <laughs> too much of a guilt train. That's... What is a guilt train? You don't is say that, that slang? someone has a guilt train. You're like... Uh, yeah, I've heard guilt train. I've kind of. been outside of this, but thing, not I've never used heard it. in that way. I mean, Interesting. It means that what they're mm -hmm. saying it mm -hmm. means, but not used like that in a sentence. Dude, for one second, just pretend you don't have to bear the weight of the consequences, okay? Fine, I'd let them both die. Gold muttered, and Morty raised his eyebrows in surprise, not expecting it in the slightest. Gold sent him a tiny smirk. Because they're both going to die anyway. Both are critically ill. It's kinder to let both die than oh, to save one. Oh, guilt trip is what I was thinking of. That's what I've heard. I've never but heard I, guilt train. Mothers, get off the guilt train. I mean, what happens if the transplant fails? You did say forget the consequences, and I shouldn't feel guilty or anything. And that I shouldn't feel guilty or anything. Mm -hmm. Morty sighed. There was just no getting through to gold like this. Shaping a small sand dome in front of him... Lazily, Morty watched Gold blow his fringe out of his eyes with a huff. Okay, now this is a real case study. A real situation because you lived it. You did it. If you hadn't shot Silver, then would have killed himself and How left you in Morty a world of this? anger, insanity, and hurt. Dramatic, yes, but... Oh, well, yeah, he did say that. Yes, but true. <laughs> I could totally see you regressing back into from... Into from what I heard from Green, a supremely bigoted, violent arsehole. What does bigoted have to do with anything? Thanks. Gold commented dryly, totally. Note the sarcasm he was using here. Gold never really understood why not many people realized he was being sarcastic. Someone, they must have gotten a note that was like... Why'd they put that in there? Because the totally is for the next part. Totally. All that shit. Yeah, At ease with his past character sum summation, Morty continued, fuck, with much fervor. You could have killed yourself, which in my opinion would have been the stupidest thing you would could have done. I swear if you had killed yourself because of that, I would have brought you back to life and killed you again. That's a stupid statement. Silver, you say. <laughs> Silver turned the gun on you because he was afraid, deluded by his overwhelming fear. Did Silver he turn the gun on gold? I think so. Oh, yeah, no. He, he shot him. Yeah. <laughs> he did shoot him. He, yo, yeah, because Silver had the whole I shot gold complex, and then gold had the whole fucking I shot silver complex. But you both shot each other, and if this was Trailer Park Boys, you'd just get drunk and yeah, be over we're it. we're even. Let's go have sex. There we go. <laughs> he didn't realize it was you. He shot you and came back to his senses. Upon realizing how dangerous he was in a split moment of true raw frenzied panic, he tried to terminate the source of the threat terminate himself. The of the threat. Now, gold, ask yourself this question. Why did you shoot Silver? Gold sat directly in front of his blonde friend, brows lightly furrowed in concentration. Morty lay back on the warm sand as he waited, tracing swirls into the, the sand. sand wouldn't be Gold warm, swallowed. it's nighttime. The sand would be kind of cold because the water's cold. I know. <laughs> he did it because it was the only thing he could have done. Yeah, okay. Because I didn't want Silver to die. I didn't want him to die because I wasn't brave enough to pull the trigger. Weren't you glad you pulled that trigger? Yes. What are what were you feeling then at the time? Fear. Because I loved him so much. We were losing so much and it just seemed the tables were turning and I couldn't relax knowing Silver was out there dousing himself in blood. So I went to find him before something went wrong. I'm glad I made those choices. What did you do after you shot him? Why is Green not doing this? He's the therapist. Yeah. Dropped the gun and went to him. Fuck, what else would I do? I went to him. <laughs> I see. Now, I Gold, see. the big question. Can you live with the knowledge that you can tap into your crueler, uglier, animalistic side, the scary side of humanity, and kill another human? Gold closed his namesake That's eyes not a good way thoroughly to and took a deep breath. In the end, Morty had been surprisingly insightful. Yeah, very surprising. I wish it wasn't. He, it should have been green. Yeah. He felt better. Not by a significant margin, but enough to make him feel more at ease with uh, himself. I pull my eyebrow when it hurts. Yeah. Do you mean it? This yes. <laughs> Seriously? So much dial. Yes! Really well and truly? Oh, for fuck's sake, yes! Really, really? Damn it, Morty! How many more times do I have to say yes? Really? Morty. What? No, really, Gold. Do you mean it? Yes! Really? 
ellipsis. Really, Morty? Honestly, I'm going to really shut the fuck up before I fucking rip your spleen out with a spoon, you annoying little dick shit. Dick shit. <laughs> I'm glad that was uninterrupted. That was like a Seinfeld bit. Fucking George Costanza talking to Seinfeld. I felt like that. Why am I referencing Seinfeld and Clockwork? Well, I've referenced, we referenced like BTS, Wicked, can we, I don't know. Can we read a Seinfeld book, please? It doesn't have to be sexual. I just want to read like George Costanza meets Princess Leia. I want that. Gold snarled, finally having enough pinning the blonde with one of his famous piercing death glares. Mm -hmm. Morty slowly sat up before bringing his hands together in the slowest, most irritating, amusing, slow-motion applause ever. Slow Morty called applause. this his epic clap, because seriously, it's epic. Gold raised an eyebrow at Morty, who eventually picked up to speed, clapping normally before cuffing him over the head with a snarky grin. Well done. Dude, you're fucking annoying. Gold muttered, rubbing his neck, mildly disappointed himself for losing his short temper. Whilst not explosive and violent, Gold still knew he owned a hot temper, and Morty seemed to push his buttons better than anyone. Is he like your best friend? It was probably that really annoying pitch in the gymnast place <laughs> that yeah. took on when he was being a total uh -huh. pest. Morty smiled, muted to him, suddenly serious and docile. But really, Gold, if you truly feel like you've understood what I've talked to you about... Then I think Silver has something to tell you. What? If Silver proposes, I'm killing myself. Well, in it... like a joke way, not in like a don't kill yourself. He said and... to tell you, not to ask you, though. God. Like... We're getting married. So Silver, so Gold is doing with this, and oh, I realize that I really mean that I don't regret shooting him because it saved his life. I think Silver has something to tell you. What? What does Silver have to tell him that? like, relates to this. Silver stabs gold in the chest. I had to do it for Cthulhu. <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> End of fic. You know they're gonna reference clockwork. clockwork. I did it for the clockwork that is Cthulhu. <sighs> <laughs> Alright. Um, gold looked surprised. Uh, where is Silver? Where do you think he would be? In bed, waiting Gold for you. Gold stood abruptly, brushing the sand off his legs as he did so. Looking down at Morty, he held out his hand to help him up, but the blonde smiled sin serenely and shook his head, wriggling his like toes in the in sand. Thanks, but I think I'll stay here a while. Wait for Faulkner to catch me. And Gold? I thought he was trying to catch Faulkner. Gold turned back, halfway back up the beach to listen. Morty looked over his shoulder at the raven-haired teed. You're a good person. Don't forget it. Silver knows it. You do too. You just need to realize it. Gold snorted softly. I think we both know who's the better man right here. Here, here right now. now. What? What? Okay. Morty shrugged. That sounded like a Giles line. The, You're a good person, Buffy. Don't you forget that. <laughs> Even though you fucked Angel and you made him evil. You're a good person. Yeah. Um, Morty shrugged. That whole thing is and sent right? gold oh, it's a an ambiguous moment smile. of perfect happiness when they had sex. It's oh, like, it was kind of dumb. Shouldn't he have been happy before having sex? Like when he just right? loved her or something? Oh, but it's for the drama <laughs> of it all. You know that. Mm. I think that man is you. No, you didn't say the ambiguous smile yet. Oh, gold send send gold an ambiguous smile. I think that man is you. Go on now. Fuck off. Silver's waiting for Silver you. Silver has no idea he's coming. Gold grinned and flipped the blonde off heartily, the and upon receiving the gentle like scoff of acknowledgement, the hawk-eyed male took a loping, striding run. Took to a loping. Took to a, thank you. <laughs> what is that even Silver was facing his own dr He, like, gets down on all fours. He's, <laughs> he's going hard. It's like when you go up a tall set of stairs. And you're <laughs> oh, man. I do it on short stairs sometimes, let's be real. Silver was facing his own traumas. Bigger, scarier what? ones. What? What? What is, Gold what if wanted his to tell him it was okay. It was going to be okay. How are his traumas bigger or scarier? He knew it was. We are so close. Hold comments till the end of the lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Gold slowed to a walk. He wasn't in any hurry to find Silver. Then why are you loping off? He had all the time in the world to find his lover. Silver will be dead when he gets there. Stopping completely, Gold laughed, more to himself than anything. 
Somehow, whilst he knew it was still going to take some time and possibly more agonizing to get used to his new morals. Wrong new. <laughs> K-N-E-W morals. Gold faced the new side of himself, the unlocked part of his psyche, and knew it was okay. Uh, Heart uh, skipping a beat, Gold looked down at his elongated shadow on the moonlight, in the moonlight, and felt very small against it, like he had big shoes to fill in once more. But this time, the difference felt right. Like he had grown into those shoes at last, and now he just had to get used to them, break them in. It was a scary but wonderful feeling, and he wasn't alone. Gold then realized with a jolt, this is what it felt like to truly grow up. What? What even? That's it. That's the That's the chapter. penultimate chapter of Clockwork. <laughs> We're almost to the end. Yeah, one more chapter to go. Which, yay. I can't, what are we going to do with our lives? This is like an era of your and God, my we're, existence. We're almost done with it. I'm going to have to start looking for fan fictions again. Oh, I have some in mine. I don't know if I want to read those because the last two <laughs> you show. were bad. I've got a couple. Plus, I've been thinking about looking up a couple of ones because I like, I like the ones that aren't just sex. Yeah. I feel like it adds some more fun to yeah, it. Yeah, I, I prefer. But the premise of the show, obviously, was to read some months, so we'll read some skanky ones soon. True. But, Wow. This is like, Ooh, like you know how BTS has eras, like the, the You Never Walk Alone era and the yeah. like um, Most Beautiful Moment in Life era. Mm. This is our clockwork era and it's coming to a close. And you can literally see how our lives have changed from part oh, one hey, to this. Long. Nice. I would just like to point out <laughs> that this has been a ride. It's been a ride. Yeah. We're not done yet, so I'm not going to get all sentimental. Uh, so... Join us tomorrow. Tomorrow. And by tomorrow. I mean next week. I mean next week, Friday, for <laughs> the finale of Clockwork. Really? Ah. Like better set up so the screen isn't reflected in our class. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Both of uh, us. Just like, <laughs> you white. cannot see. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like the video, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. We have awesome new content that comes out every weekday on this channel. And yeah, like I said, join us next week, Friday, for the finale. And once we're finale. done with Clockwork, it'll have a little more variety. <laughs> oh, yes. Join us for the finale of Clockwork. Thank you all so much for all of your continued support. Stay awesome, read more smut. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>